Hi, in this example we will build a NOT gate. I started with the GPIO underline 1968 ASM project which outputted to four pins. We are going to input from PD0 so PD0 is an input from a switch and PD1 is going to be an output to an LED in positive logic. We'll use port D to perform the input and output and this register here is the re register into which we will write when we want to output and out of which we will read when we want to input. We'll set the direction register so that PD0 is an input by clearing pins and we'll set the direction register bit 1 to a 1 to make PD1 an output. We'll turn off the bits in the alternative function select register because we don't want alternative function. We'll enable bit 1 of the 8 milliamp driver so our output will have 8 milliamps. And we'll turn on both data pins 0 and 1 by setting bits 0 and 1 in the enable register. Every port has a clock and we will turn on the clock for port D. The area will set the following code into ROM. That's what we want. We'll use the thumb instruction set and we will export our start label to the other file, the startup file. And in the startup file, we have a reset vector right here. So this is where it will start on a reset and what it will do is jump to our program. All right. To turn on the clock, we will bring the address of the clock register into R1. We'll get the existing value of the clock register. We'll turn on bit 3 and we'll store it back. That will enable the clock for port D. Two instructions later, the clock should be ready, uh, should be stabilized and we can now use port D. Again, before we use a port, we have to tell it whether the pins are input or an output. And so we want to uh, set bit 1 of the direction register to make PD, PD1 an output. And we're going to want to clear bit 0 of the direction register to make PD0 an input. So that'll enable the direction register. Uh, we don't want any alternative functions, so we're going to clear bits 0 and 1. And again, we're using PD1 as an output, so we were going to turn on the 8 milliamp driver uh, by setting bit 1 of the 8 milliamp driver register. We're using bits 0 and 1, so we will uh, enable those bits using the data enable register. Uh, we don't need those, but we are going to want to access uh, the, the data register, so we'll bring the address of the data register, that's this 4073FC. So now, after executing this instruction, R0 will point to the data register. The sequence of making a NOT gate will be to first read the input. Again, R0 points to the data register. So if we uh, read from the R0 address, we'll get the existing values of the switch input. We'll input from the switch. It's in bit 0, so we'll mask the other bits off. So now what I have in this register is either a 0 if it's not pressed or a 1 if it is pressed. We'll perform the NOT operation, exclusive OR, R1, R1, pound 1. So now we have a 
1 if it's not pressed and a 0 if it is pressed. We, that's our not operation. We're building a not gate. It's in the data is in bit 0, our output is in bit 1, so we'll shift it. That's a left shift, logical shift left r1 r1 1 bit. Okay? So now I have a 2 if the switch is not pressed and a 0 if it is pressed. Our last step is to output it to the switch, so we'll store it. So R1 is going to be stored to the data register. Okay. So we performed an output, and then what we're going to do is repeat that over and over again by branching to the loop. So input, out, input, mask, uh, not, shift it over, and then output to the LED. All right. So we'll build it. No errors, that's good. We'll check our configurations. This is a 1968. We are running at 8 megahertz, and we are going to use the simulator uh, to do our testing, our first pass. Okay, so then we're going to debug. So now we're in the debugger. Uh, we see here we're right here at the reset handler. That's where we're supposed to be. And in order to see things, I want to open a peripheral, port D. Okay, come on back down there. Okay, there's port D. Um, and these are all the registers associated with port D. Uh, and uh, we can see what's going on. So let's uh, start running. Okay, so now uh, this is the first instruction of our, of our program, which will uh, turn on the clock. So now the clock is on. Two instructions later, it's um, it's uh, enabled, and then we read the existing value of the direction register. Uh, we turn on bit uh, we turn on bit one. You see in R zero bit one is set. Uh, we're going to clear bit zero in R one on R in register R zero and store it back out. You see we've set the direction register right here, so bit PD1 is now an output. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Alright, so then we will um, uh, step, step, step. Okay. Now bit clear. And now we're um, setting the alternative function register, clearing the bits in the alternative function register. Uh, that's good enough. And then we're going to turn on the bits over here. You see the uh, um, we're going to turn on the eight milliamp driver right here instead of step over, step over, or store. Now you see that bit came on, so bit zero is eight milliamps. Okay, keep going. Okay, store. And then we enable the bottom two bits of the of the function of the um, register. And so now we're in the middle of our loop. Read the input. The input is specified here, which is we set to be a one. So R zero, R one contains some stuff. All the other bits in that register. So we end it. So we just have bit zero, and then we flip it right there. We flipped it, and then we shift it over. You can't see it, and we store it. So what we have is bit zero is a 1 and it, it the software made bit 1 a 0. So let's turn off the switch right there and run through again. So this time you see that bit 0 is a 0 and we made it a 1. So in summary uh, what we've done is create a NOT gate. We used an existing program and we converted it for our uses. We simulated it and one way to, to see things in the simulator is to use the IO peripherals so that we can see. And so we click on bits here to see to make them change and we observe bits there to see the outputs. Uh, thank you very much.